Yeah. I gotta read this article, dog. Like they must have kazoo's in different keys or different pitches, right? So you could have like multiple. Oh, are they all in the same key? I don't think so. Probably ensemble soprano kazoo. I mean, if it's like other wind instruments, <laughs> awesome. right? Bass, bass kazoo, for example. Apparently, there's also something called a swazzle. Oh, I'm fully down How the Wikipedia rabbit hole. Kazoos? I miss. I'm missing out. I'm okay, not... so. Do you want to explain, Beth, or should I explain? I can't remember. I just woke up from. So we have a coworker, I, I just Emily. Woke up too. I'm pretty... We have a co we have a coworker, Emily, and Emily said she would join the first chat and play your kazoo, <laughs> and she has found a way to like flake out of each subsequent chat, and there's been no kazoo, and I'm disappointed because I wanted to hear Emily's kazoo, and she's a really nice person otherwise, but this is actually kind of upsetting me. Hmm. Otherwise, she's a nice person. <laughs> well, she kind of teased us with this kazoo, and then just, I don't know, nothing. I should just hook up weird guitar pedals to introduce this each week. I think that would, we could have like a guitar effect of the week. Yeah. Prove to Victor they don't all sound the same. <laughs> right. Oh, no, they won't even sound like a guitar at all. Okay, so Victor, I was thinking about your take on guitar music. And I'm going to go with your right. Like, the more I think about it, the more I feel like you're right. I think he's right, too. He's spot on. I think the guitar is like an, an era. Yeah, there's like guitar music, and then there's other kinds of music. And the guitar music is like so overwhelming. It's just everywhere. It, it's hard to surprise someone with guitar music. It's only four, maybe, members of group. Right. It's drums, bass guitar. Uh, rhythm guitar and solo guitar and what, what like what if all say? what if all the riffs have already been written what if like every combination of riff is is already it exists well, that's somewhere what i'm doing now you, you that's why i'm going microtonal Buddy, there he uh, is. Where, where oh, are man. you? Now? What? <laughs> I still got his green screen effect turned on too. Yeah, I was trying. To, I was trying to change it. The thing is, I can't. I can't see the. Oh, now I can see it. I couldn't see it. Oh, that's jazzy. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I wonder if they've seen the music levels thing. Yeah, Caleb and uh, Victor may not have. Um, I'm gonna try to. I just realized well, I saw, that I was experimental. Funny. It's just this like huge <laughs> lump of stuff, and then kraut rock. Which, by the way, is kraut rock even a t appropriate term to call something these days? I think it's still. I don't know. Kraut rock valid. I don't think kraut is a slur inherently. I, well, I've talked to a few people from Germany that said I probably shouldn't be saying it if I ever go to Germany. <laughs> uh, well, there's just rock, right? <laughs> I don't know. What else are you supposed to call can? Yeah, I know. I, know. I, I, I like, don't know, man. No, no other genre tag works for can. <laughs> Before my internet cut out for the second time, I was trying to figure out if the War Horse had, um, had guitar. Um, I mean, talking about, I mean, War Horse is crazy. I'm pretty sure they do have a guitarist, though. I saw like... Finesse recently. He did some interesting guitar work. Victor, are you familiar with Finesse? Oh, I don't think so. No? Okay. He plays a guitar like he'll strum one guitar and then the rest of the time he's on a computer. That's how the show was. <laughs> it's, like, it's like me. I'll playing link it to it. Hold on. Let me get on the okay. internet here. He's an experimental guy. I, I like. He's pretty, and he he turned me on to some uh, music programs that were pretty hip. So, oh. uh, 
so it looks like they don't they don't play it looks like it's all effects all their all their uh guitar sounds are keyboard effects yeah that seems like a really common thing in industrial too where they'll sample like literally a single power chord and then use that as an effect so you have like a little tiny like guitar stab yeah but um yeah, and the drums appear to be electronic as well. The guy's got a, a, a kit there. It looks like an electronic kit. I mean, the bass drum certainly is not a real bass drum. <laughs> <laughs> looks like maybe the cymbals, but I suspect the cymbals are also just electronic. But yeah, um, they're pretty good. But I mean, I guess you can do the same thing, you know, like you were saying, like if you run it, if you're running it through, in a, you know, through effects, then it doesn't matter if the instrument is ultimately, you know, a keyboard or a guitar, it's what it ends up sounding like. So. Oh yeah, I've, I know who you're talking about, Caleb. He's like a Jim O'Rourke type dude, isn't he? Uh, Where sort like the of. sound and loops of guitar stuff. Yeah, he's, he's pretty interesting. He was really cool when I got to meet him, he was, uh, you know, I was just sitting there talking about the technology he was using, and now I'm upstairs. And I have this huge book. Where I'm trying to learn this program he told me about. So <laughs> ridiculous. We here have some experimental guitar music too. It's called Remedius in Mortalis. Nice. It's weird, weird experimental guitar music. So uh, while people are checking that out, um, I, uh, I think Beth was saying what was the topic, and I don't know if anybody ever. Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I I don't know if anybody answered, but um, the topic is first. Um, and while I'm mentioning topics, oh. next week the topic is bests. So. Um, best. Yeah. So like whatever you think the best whatever is, the best oh. guitar music, <laughs> the best <laughs> band, the best musician, you know. Whatever. I've got a first, uh, yeah. David, David Behrman with Purple Mountains. Earlier this week, I, I was thinking about it. Like that whole album is really, really a beautiful album, real, well-written lyrics, but they're so depressing. And then he ended up committing suicide after making the album. I thought it was maybe the first album I've ever seen that like uh, represented a final kind of farewell to the world and then i made this album and then he ended his life it's kind of tragic but yeah the other one that i can't remember the name of the album but bowie's last album where he knew he was probably going to die and not be able to tour uh, for the album oh, i didn't even think about that yeah you're you know you're you know who else played on that was uh ben monder plays guitar on that he's a pretty out there guitar player huh the album yeah that's really well. weird though that kind of like they know this is going to be their last thing it's a spooky deal i don't know i mean like i was reading i was reading up on it because i was thinking about it and how it was a i love that album i love all the lyrics but they're so i mean i i just can't see that album any other way it really feels like like a goodbye album kind of thing and and um it's so good it's such a good album too i mean I don't know. Where was I hmm. going just now? I had something I was going to say. And, uh, you were talking about first, but. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. For me, it was the first time that I, I guess, really connected an album with a guy like that in his personal life and, and, uh, and you know, the, his uh, inevitable or his suicide. I don't know. It shouldn't be saying inevitable. I don't I probably even shouldn't be talking about this, but. It was a thought I had. Well, he was definitely one of those people that when I heard he committed suicide, I was like, eh. like, I I wasn't surprised, I guess. Well, I was reading yesterday. He had like a, he had incredible credit debt, I guess. Oh, I didn't realize that part of yeah, it. Yeah, it was over $100,000. That's a lot Whoa. of debt. Whoa. On the credit cards. Yeah. I, um... 
posted in the chat the first Music Manument episode, <laughs> which I don't even remember. I mean, it was almost 10 years ago, but... Um, what is Manument? Um, so Music Manument was a podcast that I did for eight years. Actually, I ended up, I was co-host for like probably six years of that. And then I sort of stepped into more of a like producer role. Um, but um, we had a um, three different shows. We had like a, what we call it the law cast, um, which is talking about some music business, but mostly like, you know, copyright and stuff. Um, then we had a what turned out to be an interview show for most of the time. So we would interview usually musicians, but sometimes like we had um, people from FMA, the Free Music Archive come on, um, people from Jamendo were on, uh, Paul Davis, who is the lead developer at Ardur was on a couple of times. Um, so just, I mean, largely, um, I mean, I guess Ardur is strictly speaking, not Creative Commons music related, but, um, we thought it was interesting enough to include, but strictly speaking, um, a Creative Commons music podcast. We also did a music show for a while, um, but uh, where we just like, you know, basically DJ'd a small little podcast set <laughs> and uh, put that out there. Um, but um, yeah, it just, you know, um, I think scheduling became a headache after a while. Um, so we ended it, but eight years is a pretty good run for a podcast. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, slightly over eight years, I guess. Um, but um, yeah. Anybody else got any uh, any first? The one that I always think of when you mention that is first concert. Um, oh and yeah. I'm not gonna go super into it. And I think I've told, I'm pretty sure I've told Doug and Beth about this to some degree, but the first concert I went to, like the first real concert that was of my choosing and not something my parents chose to take me to was, uh, I saw Pantera when I was 12. No way. That was my first concert. By myself. Um, it was me <laughs> and like two of my 12 year old friends and my mom just dropped us off at this Pantera concert. And Pantera was really good, but I think the thing that actually really changed a lot of my taste and perception of music was um, there's a band opening called Neurosis, oh. which is, yeah, and that was, to 12-year-old me, that was pretty wild, um, and that really changed kind of my perception of a lot of things about music, and I guess now they would be considered post-metal, I don't know, but anyway, it was fucking wild, and I can't believe that that actually happened. Your first concert was Pantera, huh, Caleb? Yeah, but I, I think when I was a kid and I the opening act was typo negative. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Man, I love typo I'm negative. Not, I'm not, I remember I met I a girlfriend school, at the I've concert. Been to that in a long time. <laughs> yeah, I think this was it would have been the Far Beyond Driven tour. That could be a rough idea how old I am. I'm not sure which tour it was. I, I just, whatever tour they were on tour with Typo Negative. It was in a cool venue. I wish I'd, it was super loud. Yeah, it was insanely loud. And the idea of wearing earplugs to it, you know, I was, I was, I was 12. Earplugs, that was good. Certain didn't realize how loud things would be, but I think Pantera is probably about the loudest possible thing. Like my ears rang for almost a week afterwards. I thought my bloody Valentine would be louder than they were when I they saw. Yeah, kind of a rep for being loud. Yeah, I know, but I didn't think it was all that loud. I was like, okay, this is doable. <laughs> I think my first show, I mean, like again, that my parents didn't take me to was might have been SR seventy one at the Cradle in Carboro, North Carolina. Um, that would have been an eleventh. And yeah, in junior in high school, 11th grade, I think. All right, Beth, tell us how young you are. Oh, um, I'm trying to, no, my first one was Bowling for Soup, MC Lards and Army of Freshmen. Yeah, Bowling for little, Soup, there you go. Little pop punk kid back in the day, little emo pop punk kid. I was 13. Thing is, I can't remember who was with SR71. Uh, 
I remember that show very well because I broke my like broke my foot. Yeah. Oh, that's that's sad. Sad. <laughs> How do you break your foot at a concert? Uh, got stomped on. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say I've been in enough pits that I know how you break mm-hmm. a foot at a concert. So yeah, yeah, I would say the one saving grace is that I was not on the floor at my first concert. Yeah, I wasn't on the floor. I was involved in the pit, but I wasn't on the floor. How'd you get stepped on? You were on top of people. <laughs> no, my foot got stepped on. Oh, like, oh, I, so your foot was on the floor. A normal my, place for yeah, feet to be. I know. <laughs> I was so angry. Um, but that was cool. I um, made friends with the drummer from Army of Freshmen, and we still email. He's pretty cool. He's pretty good. Nice. Victor, what about you? I, I wasn't in any concert before I was invited to perform myself. myself. And it, it was a uh, bus place. I don't, so your, first, I your first concert was you? That's kind of amazing, though. Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. Wow. Like that's a, that's pretty huge. <laughs> yeah. Well, not I only, mean, not only with me. Yeah. There was more people, but I was a part of it. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. Yeah. If I didn't know that was an option, because if that was like, like personal life, it would have definitely been my uncles because they played music when I was growing up. So. It would have been holidays. My family would always play music and sing songs at the holidays and, you know. But that's not really a concert, I guess. So I, I guess it's still Pantera. Yeah, unless your uncle was like, you know, at a coffee shop or something, then I think it counts. Yeah. So um, um, changing the- that was, Jones, that was cool. <laughs> For me, it wasn't a concert. It was rave. Ah. Oh, nice. Yeah. But I never be at rave, so I don't I don't have something to compare. Um, Is there a big rave scene in Kazakhstan? Actually no. It's bass place where is drum and bass, dubstep, uh UK garage. Uh UK garage? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Come through the UK. 2020 <laughs> and UK garage, okay. So, so it's it's more techno parties here. Not, not not much rave. I don't know if anybody else got the the notice, but actually it is. I don't know if they're like gave us freebies for the first two or what. Um, but, uh, it actually has given me the, uh, the countdown now to where I like, saw that. Okay. This is the first zoom meeting I've been in. That's actually done that. And I've probably been in three dozen zoom meetings in the last yeah. few weeks. So I don't know, um, you know, what we want to do going forward. Um, we probably need to be a little more, I actually have a license for zoom. Yeah. So that's work, So we could certainly do that. Yeah. Um, you want to relinquish that control, Doug? Yeah, that's fine. Um, I mean, I don't, um you know then uploading them becomes more difficult potentially but if you want to do that then then i guess we'll figure it out we'll figure it out yeah so um so we have like seven minutes left before it kicks us all out i mean we can start a new one but um i'm actually gonna brave the snow and take my bike to the shop when we're done but uh sure yeah um why? Because I want it when it's not snowing. I want the bike to be done. And then just, I get you it don't know. You snowing. don't know Doug that well. The snow's not going to slow him down. Yeah. <laughs> but, At all. Uh, Even a little. No. Well, no. It will literally slow me down. I will be slower on the bike with the snow than I would be without the snow. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Hey, did anyone check in last night to the MV and EE concert that was live on uh, Facebook? The what concert? Oh, uh, Matt Valentine and, and Erica Elder, they MV and EE. Oh man, it was a great show last night. I got to watch, it was fun. They were doing a live uh, Facebook show, but you can listen to it. Uh, he's got the album up on Bandcamp now. Links, 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 links. Yeah, I'll put up the link there for that. Speaking of links, um, do you want to, do you guys want to do um, 
another Zoom after this? Because if Ben, if you want to toss a link for people. Uh, to, uh, yeah, shit. Hold on. Because uh, we got 55 can, seconds left. Let me see if I can do that. <laughs> Not 55. Uh, five minutes and 55 seconds. I don't know if I can. How do I schedule a meeting? Um, do you have the I'm desktop app? Yeah, yeah, I do. But I'm so, trying to figure out how I schedule a meeting when I'm in a meeting. Well, I have a, I still have a blue schedule button on the desktop app. Oh, wait, schedule. There we go. Um, so we will, hold on. I'm doing the thing. I have to get to the meeting on time next time. Jeez. I kept thinking it was at 11. I don't know why. My time, not your time. Yeah, I think a lot of people get Mountain and Central Time confused. I'm not sure why, but somehow this seems to be a thing. You're not the only one. <laughs> I've actually never scheduled a meeting on this before. I always use the Outlook plugin, but I'm not sending this via Outlook. So, uh, yeah. Scheduled meeting. Oh, by the way, Happy Easter. Oh, yeah. Happy All right. Easter. Yeah. Or Passover, if you were doing that earlier in the week. Uh, I do both. Okay. So when does, when does Passover end, Caleb? When? How do I? Yeah. Oh, I just yeah. married into this. I don't yeah. Know oh. I but it's like a, it's like a week. It. Long. It's like a week long, though. So like, I yeah. think you might know when when it ends. Okay, so I just copied I the invite. The wife questions like that. She's uh, yeah. she's an expert. <laughs> I, I copied the invite. Yeah. So and you I guys, think we can just go forever. Yeah, you guys see the the link there, the yeah. zoom.us link. And so uh, translate that. Okay. Are your homes being invaded by ants? No, it's snowing. It's snowing. It's, like, it's like <laughs> it's still winter. Snowing where you're at. <laughs> Oh yeah, I did you were, yeah. were you not on the call yet when I showed everybody that? No. Dude, oh. it's fucking snowing here. No way. Oh, oh that sucks. God. This is actually not even that late. Like I've had no. to it, it'll and snow in May sometimes. And it's and it's not even like a lot of snow. It's only like max six inches. Like two years ago we got like twenty inches later than this. I mean, sucks, granted, yeah. that was weird to have that much snow, but I mean I mean, it looks like it's coming down, but it's it's not sticking. I mean, it's sticking on the grass, but the roads. It's, it's, we've, we've it's sticking here in the suburbs, Doug. Yeah. Well, I'm, you know, whatever. <laughs> Doug's urban. I'm yeah. very tomorrow, suburban. Tomorrow we, we had snow, but today is like 20, 23 plus. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that is, but it's not cold. I know, I know, I know, uh, you know, like zero is 32 Fahrenheit. And I can All just right. I can just adjust from there. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna drop and join the other meeting because right. I think I'm the host, so I'll be yeah I'll be there. Sweet. Peace what out. is next week's theme so I can be prepared? Best. Best. Yes. So. Best. All right. Best. Best flutist. Best saxophonist. Whatever best you want to talk about, we can talk about right. those best. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Victor, you saw the the Zoom link that Ben put in the chat. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Um, so this is gonna close in two minutes and some change. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shut this one down, and then everybody can um, can move over to Ben's. I mean, we got lucky the first two weeks that they didn't enforce the 40 minute rule. We always knew that might be an issue, um, uh. but it looks like Ben's comfortable using his um, you know his professional paid for account. Um, so we'll probably just use his going forward. Um, but I can still send you guys. Are we continuing this meeting? Is this what? Yeah, I'm if you guys want to. I'm going to yeah, drop. No, that's fine. I, I want to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. But this one is just literally going to end in a minute and a half. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it and you guys can, can go over to the other one. All right, doing that's, that. Sweet. So there is no password. Uh, it doesn't look like it, no. Let me, I'll, I'll ask him real quick.